I'm trying to paint or assemble. Today I'm assembling orcs, and as I blah, I have the new flash kits, is what I'm trying to say. First things first is cut out all the bits you need. I've, I'm just starting with the main body and the like boss pole on the back. Um, so we just cut off the legs, the torso, the head. Um, if you look on the instructions, it says some parts go with other certain parts, so make sure you line them up. This is his weird neck lump, and then I just have the bit of the boss pole there, and then I have the boss pole poles. Now I'm just cutting off the lumps. Do not use a knife towards your fingers. I do, but you shouldn't. Um, and then I just use, once I got all the bigger lumps off, I just use the side of the blade and I just scrapey scrapey to smoothen it off. As well, I do this to get off all the mold lines as well, as you can see here. Then I use my glue. I use Revel glue, not the Games Workshop one, because I find the Games Workshop one disintegrates over time and your models have a tendency to fall apart. So yeah, at first I just test it out without the glue to see how the two pieces fit together. Once I'm sure of how it works, I just apply a tiny bit of glue around the edges here of the inner torso, and then I just stick this on. And just hold it briefly for a moment, as this glue works really well. I just do a little finger wipe to get rid of the excess on the top there, and yeah. Then I just add a little bit to the square here, it's for fixing the neck lump. And give it a little wiggle and it just fits on perfectly because of the way it's like a socket thing. Um, then I just put a bit of glue inside the head here and a little bit on the back as it touches the cloak. And this just fits nicely in place with hardly any effort. Then I pick up the top of my boss pole here. As you can see, it's got two indentations. This is, matches up perfectly with the two poles. As you can see here. So then I just get my glue, and I put a little tiny bit of glue in each hole. And then I just slide this downwards into place, as that way it doesn't like squirt the glue everywhere. And the other side, that's done, like easy. The next main part is the gun. So this is our gun. This is like the exhaust to come out the back. We have two different gun casings. This is to make them extra customizable. Then we have the muzzle of the gun. Now these can come in several pieces, so make sure you cut out all the pieces for them. Then I'm going on to, uh, this is the ammo casings. These hang underneath the gun. Again, there's two. You can choose a variety. Here, um, this ammo has two parts, which is important, as you'll see. Um, and this is just another little gun muzzle thing that hangs off the front. So again, I'm seeing how they all go together. Seeing that it's pretty simple. I do add a bit of glue, stick it on there. And then I just slot this into place. And then I put a bit more glue on the front here and for the end end of the muzzle. And to do this, I just like put it on the desk and then I just like stick it to it like that. Like I don't even try. And then I just give it a little wiggle to make sure it goes into place. And this next part is the exhaust. Now I just put a little bit of glue on the square bit at the back here and the exhaust just fits on like really easily. And then I get my ammo casing. Well, ammo ca yeah, ammo casing. And it just hooks on underneath the gun, really simple. Like the whole thing about this kit is it's designed in a way that everything just hooks or slots together really easily. Then I just put a bit of glue on the top here and a bit on the side. And this is for the gun casing. And again, it just drops into place. And then put a bit more glue here and a bit more glue there. And this is just to drop the other one into place. It all just lines up so neatly. And then, I'm, this little gun, I didn't really get it, but it just kind of hooks onto this bit of plastic underneath the bottom here. So I made sure to like, test it out first, because I wasn't quite sure. So a bit of glue, line it up, squeeze it on, and it goes on just as easy as everything else. Then the extra bit of ammo that hangs off. This is important because you use this to help support the gun when it's on the base. So what you want to do is put a little bit of glue on this bottom like bolts here bolter and it's not a bolt over it yeah um and then you just line them up because the two flat ones will go together side by side then this bit here is the handle our our little captain here he won't be holding a handle because he's too busy waving his sword around so we have to glue the handle on separately onto this little circle nubbin on the side and it just goes on like this 
Then we have the most important part, our base. Now what I'm trying to do here is trying to figure out how he's supposed to go on it, because he's pretty big. And then the gun's pretty big, so it's a really awkward one to put together. So I'm putting a bit of glue on the bottom where it touches the base. As well as putting um, a bit of glue on him. Hold on, just put this on there. Yeah. I'm put a bit of glue on him, on his shoulder, and as well as on his feet. And I want to keep everything wet. You want to do this quick. And the reason is, that way you can like just slide everything together. Rather than it being really fiddly and trying to hold it all together, it just kind of just like slides together on the base. And it's much easier, but you have to be quick and careful. The next part is his little tiny sword, and he literally a tiny sword. And you need to put a bit of glue on his shoulder here, and then the sword just goes in. And you will have to support it for a moment as it's weighty and tries to pull itself off. On his back here, as you can see, there's a little hole. And this is for the little nubbin on the boss ball. So we just put a little bit of... Yep, it just goes on there like that, then we put a little glue on. And I put a little bit of glue on the bottom bit as well, because it does touch the cloak, and I want it to be extra secure, because that one, like, point of connection is not very solid. Then we have his shoulder pads. This is his left arm shoulder pad. You can tell from the little hole here. And you got him, it's the same with all the shoulder pads. The left ones always have a little hole, and the right ones don't have the hole. So we just put a little line of glue along the edge of his sleeve, and the shoulder pad will just sit on top of that. It won't, like, it pretty much just goes on easily because it will bump into all the other parts to stop it moving around. And then you do the same with the other one, a little tiny line, and just rest the shoulder pad on. Then we have his little targeting squig thing, which is really cool. Um, he just has, like, a little lump under it, like, on the stick he's sitting on, and that just goes into the hole on the shoulder pad. And he literally just sits there. Then we have the little belt strap, which was really fiddly. I did not like these. But um, you just put a bit of glue on the hook here and a bit of glue on the square. And it kind of just hooks on and sits the square against the gun, which is really hard. Um, then we have these, like, shooting out, like, discharging, like, empty ammo case things. So I just put a little glue on the side where um, they're closer, because obviously they spread out as they shoot out. And then just put that inside these little slots on the side. And I put the shorter one, like the less lengthy firing ammo in the front, and I put the longer one at the back, just because it gave a much nicer appearance to the model, I think. And as you can see here, this is our completed Captain model, and he looks pretty super. Now if you do any other ones, it's the exact same process. The only difference is, like, you choose different accessories for the guns, but they go together the same. Same with the boss balls, it's exactly the same. You're just choosing different parts, it's just a different look. If you want to see more of my orc related videos, you can click here for painting ones, unboxing. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.